The rivers of Northwest Michigan are presented here and drawn in colors based on difficulty like the ski resorts. Green is an easy flow, low chance of tango, medium to no current, there may be portages. Blue is intermediate with continuous steering, chances of tangles, and black is difficult, continuous paddling, white water, boulders. Yellow is open water, can range from calm waters to real difficult headwinds and waves. The Bear River starts out at Walloon Lake and it's a little narrow and you have to duck under 131. Then it gets to be a real gentle current at the end, white water. The Boyne River is a straight shot towards Boyne City and flattens out into uh, standing water. It's a little tricky getting through town, you can't get under the bridge. Jordan River starts out quick and then gradually and continuously flattens out to standing water before hitting Lake Charlevoix. The chain of lakes is an interconnected waterway mix of lakes and sections with current. And the big ones, Torch Lake and Elk Lake can get pretty windy and challenging on uh, headwinds and fighting the waves. The Manistee River is wide and easy, a gentle giant, easy place to learn how to paddle or relax. Boardman River starts out pretty narrow and quick, and then it's still quick, but wide and easy, and then the Keystone Rapids dumping out into real soft waters, Boardman Lake, and the final stretch through town is pretty easy too. The Upper Platte River is quick, it's pretty easy navigating, but it does have a few tangles and possibilities. Dumps you out into Platte Lake and then real easy, slow, populated paddling out to Lake Michigan through Loon Lake. Victoria Creek is essentially flat water that allows you to paddle out to Lake Leland all and back. Crystal River is super clean, shallow, and a lot of meander. Easy all the way. The Leland River is a little section that comes out of Lake Leland and ends up at the dam in Leland. The rivers are shown here in magenta, and their adjoining lake friends are shown here in gold. So where to float? If you have kids or you're new to river paddling, these sections of rivers are fairly easy, not too technical, and give you an opportunity to practice your skills or keep from tipping over generally. So these are the ones that are going to take you down the river pretty easily and calmly and bring you back dry for the most part. Here they are, the Kid and Newbie Rivers, Bear River from Bear River Road to Sheridan, all the Boyne River, Jordan River lower sections, Chain Lakes Upper Chain and Torch River, the Boardman from Brown Bridge to Beitner Road, Manistee from CCC Bridge to Rainbow Gyms, all Crystal River, all Victoria Creek, and the Platte River from M22 to Lake Michigan, the Betsy River, the Long River Road. Are you in a group or looking for one on the river? These sections of rivers are where people tend to congregate in mass. They're the social rivers where you can generally paddle pretty easy, not a lot of concentration. So here they are, the Bear River from Bear River Road to Sheridan. Upper 
intersections. Chain lakes up and down from Bel Air and the Torch River. Boardman Hall Park to Lake Michigan. Manistee from Sharon to Rainbow Gems. All the Crystal River. The Platte from M22 to Lake Michigan. The Betsy River from Thompsonville to Benzonia. Is the Flatwater your venue? Would you like to see some architecture on your lake paddle? In Charlevoix, paddling Round Lake in the channel is just fantastic. And if you go out into Lake Michigan, you can head past Boulder Park or go the other way to Mount McSaba. Lake Charlevoix has a CNO club to the north and Belvedere, Prairie Beach to the south. You can access the water at Medusa Creek, Mount McSaba, Michigan Beach, Bow Beach, Ace Township, Ferry Beach. Balloon Lake on the small arm has beautiful homes and it's fairly protected from the wind. You can get on the water at Jones Landing or in the village of Walloon. Torch Lake is a big, beautiful body of water. Multiple access points and the village of Torch Lake. all these river maps on playmap.net go to the themes button and hit the paddle icon play now